The Madagascar lace plant, to me, is one of the most beautiful and interesting plants in the hobby. It's definitely better suited to tanks of a medium and large size because it can put on a bit of size itself. And aside from that, the only real drawback is that it can be hard to come by sometimes. It goes through a seasonal dormant period, so it can be difficult to find in the summer on occasion. It's tougher than it looks and sounds though. It evolved its lace-like construction so that it can allow water to pass through it rather than faster flowing water tearing leaves off. That means it's used to a wee bit of current and certainly won't mind that in your aquarium. So the strength of the plant is actually the absence of leaf when you think about it. The holes that then leaves behind that network of plant tissue is actually what helps it survive in an environment that otherwise it might not. Super cool when you think about that and it looks amazing too. So they are bulb plants and when you get the bulb you only bury it half in the substrate, you leave half of it sticking out, you can use a stone or two to keep it in place if you need to. Then it sends out these gorgeous roots. So it is a heavy root feeder although it doesn't need a deep substrate because the roots tend to spread out of the way. It is going to do better with a nutrient rich substrate though. Um, I tend to have a clay based substrate underneath my gravel. Uh, that works for me but go with whatever you can get otherwise you can use root tabs. As long as it can get all the nutrients it needs to grow healthy it'll be absolutely fine. Growing above our bulb then we have these beautiful stems that you can see enable the plant to wave a wee bit more in the current and then they develop into those beautiful leaves. It really is stunning. If we want to trim our Madagascar lace, what we would do is trim the stem just as it appears out of the bulb. If you try to cut the leaf in half, it won't regrow. It will just wither and the plant is going to try and save the leaf by sending energy to it, which it's then not putting into the rest of the healthy plant. So like I say, to trim it, trim the stems right down at the base. You might assume that this is a plant that needs a lot of light, but it really doesn't. Medium to high, I find works well for this plant. More medium than high, actually. It also doesn't necessarily need the higher temperature ranges associated with tropical fish. Low to mid 70s is fine. Low 20s is fine. This tank is kept at 25 degrees and the plant's doing magnificent. We said earlier about the dormant stage that the plant goes through every year. So that is in the summer, like we said. If your light is a bit brighter and the water is a bit warmer, it's going to signify it is summer to the plant and it's going to want to do that. I would call it an easy plant to keep. I mean, if you've got decent substrate or root tabs, as we said, and you leave it alone, the plant kind of takes care of itself, to be honest with you. It does get large, but you can trim the bigger leaves when you need to. It should get bushier the more you trim it. It doesn't need CO2. I don't use CO2. You can see from this angle what a beautiful plant this is. And this is a two foot plant easily, if not a bit more. In fact, 70 centimeters, so that's between 27 and 28 inches from the bulb to the tip. Obviously it doesn't need to be standing upright in our tanks though. It's gonna spread about a wee bit and of course we can trim it if it's getting a wee bit too big. It's an amazing plant though, it really is. As you can see, if you keep cherry shrimp, they love exploring on them and grazing on them. Otto Sinclair's too. A lot of fish love to swim about them. They enjoy the cover of the leaves. It is a plant that's going to look amazing if you do have a wee bit of current. The leaves waving in the flow is just going to look fantastic. But then you might have to give some consideration to where you're going to place the plant. Otherwise, if you've got any other tips or useful information about it, please put it in the comments down below. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Helping each other out. This is what I know about the Madagascar lace plant. This is what I've learned about it. Awesome plant. I hope you get the chance to try it. And I hope this video helped.